to this moment. Welcome, everybody, as you're looking live at a sold-out arena ready to kick things off tonight. Scores will be settled, bodies will be broken, and dominance will be established. And it all starts right now. And we're starting this card off with some fireworks. Let's do this. Singles action coming your way. We have a great matchup coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. You don't want to miss it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Amarillo, Texas. Weighing in at 246 pounds, the hardcore icon, Terry Funky. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. start the night off than with this one. I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Impact. 
Drop down. Oh my gosh. The stop in the leg. Just nasty. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look at this. And he kicks out. He just powered out there, Cole. He's lining him up. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh. Down. Harsh impact. Counter here. Close quarters. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, he's got him here. And the slam. Speed paying off. Oh, oh, man! Quick thinking to avoid that one. Drop kick hits the mark. He looks absolutely exhausted. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. He has got to fight back. He's fading fast here, guys. If I'm as a beautiful technique. This one's over, guys. Okay, this time has to. We've got to cover him. A singles match. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Look at him go. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Crazy Kid Masa Tanaka. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. We'll see if the next match lives up to the hype of the first. All bets are off as we get extreme. Just wait for what's up next. There's no telling what's going to happen in a battle like this. Taking on some tough competition. I can't wait. Lock the doors. 
Hide your kids. The Hide Lunatic your wife. Fringe is in the house. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, the ultraviolet world heavyweight champion, Dean. He can Ambrose. be technically savvy. He can brawl champion. with the best. Dean Ambrose. He's an anomaly. No, he's not, Byron. He's nuts. You know, I don't know what it is about this guy that captivates the WWE Universe. Quite frankly, to me, Dean Ambrose looks like a guy that hasn't showered in about a month. There is no rhyme or reason for why Dean Ambrose does what he does, but that's why people like him, Corey. From Annapolis, Maryland, weighing in at 145 pounds, King. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see. WWE's most unpredictable superstar might also make Dean Ambrose one of WWE's most unstoppable superstars. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. at the 2016 Money in the Bank event. You knew once the Lunatic Fringe won the Money in the Bank contract, he wasn't going to sit on it long. Attacking Seth Rollins from behind was not the act of a reputable sportsman, but that's not for me to decide. He looks a bit off his game here, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. The Money in the Bank contract has provided some of the most thrilling championship moments in sports entertainment history. Just watch Dean Ambrose in 2016's Money in the Bank on the WWE Network and you'll see what I mean. The WWE Universe became unglued when Dean Ambrose cashed in the Money in the Bank contract that he won earlier that night. Ambrose dropped his former Shield member Seth Rollins with Dirty Deeds and became the new WWE Champion. There's a lot of force behind that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. Yikes. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect plex. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. 
You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right out there, Michael, but let's not forget that was... Cross the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. This is his opportunity to win. He's got him covered. One, two, digging deep for a kick out. Still seems a little early. And if Dean Ambrose able to break free. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that? Wow. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that? Wow. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. to be horizontal at this point in the match, Cole. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. And it's Ambrose showing some agility. Showing off some of his speed there. Trap the arm. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. I'm not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to you. have a seat. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. Ooh, nice Russian leg sweep. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all and absolutely anything can happen. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is, Cole. And unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looked like a twisted heap.
Okay, that gives me meaning to have a seat. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, shows no mercy. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. The reason they call Dean Ambrose a lunatic French is because he doesn't know when to give up, doesn't know when to stop. I don't believe I've ever seen a superstar as unpredictable as Dean Ambrose. Did you hear that crap? Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. To elaborate further on Michael's point on why Dean Ambrose is the lunatic fringe, when Ambrose wrestled in Puerto Rico, he had ice cubes and batteries thrown out. And he called that a beautiful thing. Well, only Dean Ambrose would be so twisted to enjoy that, but... I don't know if Dean ever had a mind, but if he did, he lost it a long time ago. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Oh. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Michael, that gives me meaning to have a seat. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Oh, he's so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time. And by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Leaving himself open here. Now, yeah, guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Oh, my goodness. He's got the shoulders down. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. He is not going to go down without a fight, Michael. to have a seat. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. behind that one. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John Cena eventually found a way to win that match. The lunatic fringe has him right where he wants him. Bang! Dirty deeds. That has got to be it. Look at Dean Ambrose's tenure in WWE. And the pinfall. And the victory. Let's take another look at these guys in action.
These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel because he was on fire in this one. Here is your winner, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose wins here in impressive fashion. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much. What the? I don't think we're going to wait for the match to start. Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. He should be with him, Byron. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. He looks like he has no idea where he is. Yeah, he is definitely on Dream Street, Michael. He wants no part of the outside. What a stomp. Good grief. Boom. Oh, boy, from behind, rolls through. Oh, there it is. Dirty deeds. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Hope the next match lives up to the hype of the rest of the card. Here we go. Time for the Falls Count Anywhere match. The knockout artist, Cassius Soto's here. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Cassius Ono. Cassius Ono, a true student of the game, constantly improving, traveling the world to better his craft. Cassius is a dangerous man. One of the best strikers in the game can also brutalize you with incredible technique. 
Cassius Ono is a tough, tough human being. He is so excited to be here tonight. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 189 pounds, Yosef Hiro T. Jerry. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. There's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And Cole, I will be shocked if we don't see this one spill out to the arena floor sooner rather than later. start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. submission there. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. Tonight may not be as bad, nice, guys. And things look bleak right now. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false count anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand those rules. match, Corey, you said it can end anywhere, which means we could see this match conclude in the ring, the stands, the locker room. Heck, it could even out end outside the streets. And on top of that, it's worth noting that anything is legal in this match, guys. The only rule is there are no rules. The running senton! Crush 
crushing impact. When this guy's on, look out. Oh no, rolling elbow from Cassius. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Going for the cover. When it comes to falls, count anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's right, oh, right to the back of the neck. This one's over, guys. Let's check this out again, Corey. So effective, Cole. Speaking of that classic Charlotte Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the looking for all the glory here. And you could put this singles match in the books. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Cassius Ono. That was a big pinfall victory right there. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. This next match might be every bit as good as the last one. The constraints are off. Falls Count Anywhere match coming up next. Making his way to the ring from Virginia, weighing in at 297 pounds, the United States Professional Champion, Mr. Cyclone Frick Champion. As a reminder, falls count anywhere, guys, here in this upcoming one-on-one -on -one matchup. Which means we'll likely see these two superstars taking the fight all over this arena, Cole. Heck, they might even spill out into Main Street. We've seen that before.
and his opponent from Annapolis, Maryland, weighing in at 145 pounds, Kirk. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. And we're ready to get this Falls Count Anywhere match underway. And the beauty of this Falls Count Anywhere match means we might just have the deciding fall take place right here in front of us. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. After the float over. That was pretty. He's starting to stumble here. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Hey, you're going to get hurt in a match like this. That's just the way it is. There's really no way around it. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Too quick for him there. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Beautiful technique. I don't know how much more of this he can take. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. He's oh. straight right to the mouth. Just when you thought he had nothing left. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, he's such a tough target. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He wants it straight right to the mouth. This one is over. Okay, this time has to do it. John escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, 
Back in from the floor. Despite having an impressive spot in this week's power rankings, I'm told this superstar isn't all concerned with things like that. Oh, what an enziguri right in the ear. There's been a lot of talk about this superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, those things are overblown. He's too quick for him there. What a strike. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a did he? While I was coming in today, I heard a lot of fans lauding this superstar for competing here tonight. According to them, it takes a lot of guts to compete with such an injury. Oh, what a knee left. In that poor chair. It looked like a twisted heap. Injuries definitely are a storyline to keep an eye on during this match, but so far, there does not appear to be anything really slowing this superstar down. Would you two listen to yourselves? A couple of scrapes and bruises do not constitute injuries. Come on now. Talk about overreacting to a situation. So far, so good, guys. That injury doesn't seem to be negatively impacting this superstar one bit. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. Oh boy, he is rolling. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight, or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. Whack! Michael, that gives you meaning to have a seat. Nice job getting out of the way. Of, he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. What a clothesline. Ouch. He's starting to feel it here. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredict... He goes for the cover. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Nah, not yet. Too early. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar. Straight right to the mouth. Here's his moment, Michael. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. 
A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. When this guy's on, look out. He's making a statement here with this attack. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight. Or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight. Or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. Harsh impact. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about... Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's yeah. just part of the game. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight. Or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just part of the game. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. Shoving them away! If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just part of the game. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar. Counter here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. Oh, he dodges out of the way.
While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just part of the game. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. Wow! Running senton! Man, that's gonna hurt. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight. Or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. He gets him with a reversal. This might be it. Oh, my. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. While the medical... Boom! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? I get it. It's a cool move. But again, really? At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. God, what a slam. That should do it. Look at this. Harsh impact. Can he do it here? Hope the next match lives up to the hype of the rest of the card. Sit tight for singles action coming up next. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 208 pounds, the Zone Television Champion, Rusekis Champion.
Get ready, guys. Big time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. With him. Fine, those PowerPoint presentations are highly educational. You could stand to learn a thing or two from Drew Gulak. Has he ever cornered you in the locker room area? Once. Yeah, he got me too. Most miserable experience of my life. No doubt though that he can get it done in the ring. Singles action is underway, and in this yeah. one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. And man, oh. I never get tired of watching these guys compete. What a stomp! Good grief! point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme i would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak yeah but not all mean streaks are created equal michael but i'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level incredible there was a lot of force behind that one nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy here he goes beautiful technique can he end it here? The night he's going for the pin. One, two, three. There's the pinfall and the victory. Now let's look back at that amazing action. Here is your winner, Rusekis. Extremely impressive win, guys. I guess Gulak needs to double check the numbers in his PowerPoint presentation to figure out exactly what went wrong tonight. As usual, this Philadelphia crowd is beyond boisterous tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in.
This next match might be every bit as good as the last one. Throw all the rules out the window because it's time for things to get extreme. Making his way to the ring from Hidalgo, Mexico, weighing in at 209 pounds, Sue Pierre Crazy. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. From Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 174 pounds, the professional Loki. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here in one on one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. feeling to this venue tonight. Somebody's got hops. He's starting to stagger a bit. 
I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. I guarantee you that the post-game show on the WWE Network will be talking about how he struggled getting out of the gate here tonight. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. When this guy's on, look out. Big move coming! Wait for it! Impressive combination kicks. Nobody does it quite like him. Hard not to be him. Shoulders on the mat. One, two, three. This singles contest has a victor. Well, they don't call it extreme rules for nothing, guys. Let's take another look. Here is your winner, the professional, Loki. And there's your winner. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. Guys, I have to say, that was an amazing match. Enough's enough. Time for the main event. So don't move a muscle. Oh. oh man, there it is, and we have unofficially started here. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Let me tell you. 
tell you, that thing is heavy. And he's heading back in. Connects with the title. And let me tell you, that thing is heavy. Connects with the championship. Oh, man, that one landed square, too. you got to believe this one's over. Starting to show signs of fatigue. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Shoulders on the mat. One, two, three, three. The cover, and this one's history. What a win! Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner. What's going on here? Here we go. This could be the end. Samoan drop. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, no. That's, here's your favorite, Corey. Brilliant. Victory is on the horizon. Man, what a slam. But he's got to capitalize now. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one.